Yes, guys, it is true. I have moved to Istanbul, sort of. I'm gonna explain, but for now, I just wanna welcome you guys to my apartment. I'm here in Kadıköy on the Asian side of Istanbul. So if you guys have ever been to Istanbul, you know it's split by the Bosphorus Strait. Europe on one side, Asia on the other. Well, I am here on the Asian side of the city. This is where I live. And I've actually been living in this apartment since February of this year, 2023. So it's been a while, but I figured it was about time to give you guys a little life update and kind of explain what I've been up to between all the stuff that you see on YouTube. But before I show you guys around, let's try this tea. Delicious. All right, so let me give you a tour of my humble abode here in Kadikoy on the Asian side of Istanbul, like I said. Here is the front door, so we'll start from there like we just came in. Okay, so we come in this way. Right here, I've got my little shoe rack. I've got a little table and a couch, another tiny table. To the right side, we've got the little kitchenette. I've got my oven, my stove, my tea, Turkish teapot, still going so I can refuel. And we've got the refrigerator. Right up here, I've got some uh, Turkish artwork that I bought in the Grand Bazaar here in Istanbul. And yeah. Over here, oh, here's another piece of art that I just bought in Baghdad, Iraq, actually. It's an oil painting of Iraq. And I gotta get it reframed because I had it rolled up to take home. But yeah, that's gonna be hung up in here somewhere. Very excited to get that hung up. And then here are kind of some of my little treasures that I've collected along the way, along the journey. Uh, first thing, of course, gotta have a picture of the family here. Then up here, I've got two things from Egypt, actually. They're both like these little tins. This one is really cool. It's actually a chocolate box from the coronation of Queen Elizabeth. So I think that's really cool. Up here, I've got some vintage Iraq tourist guides. And here is my silver YouTube play button for 100,000 subscribers. And down here, a couple things from Iraq. I've got the genie lamp. We're up for good luck and the ashtray. I don't smoke, but if you've ever been to Turkey, you know the Turks love their cigarettes. So anytime, if I have a friend over or something uh, and they wanna smoke, that's why I've got the ashtray. Then up here in this cabinet, I've got a few more things that I've collected along the way. First of all, this is the floor tiles from the Osama bin Laden compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. Got a few pieces of those. You guys can see uh, how I got those in my video from there if you want. Up here, I found this in a market in Egypt. This is a uh, Saddam Hussein clock. Give me one second. When you wind it up, his hand counts the seconds. So just a little collector's item. And then here, I've actually got another Saddam thing. This is a gold-plated Swiss-made watch with Saddam's face on it that he used to give to the generals in Iraq. That's my, my newest find. So yeah, just a few of the things I've collected. Continuing on, here is the bedroom. So this is a one bedroom apartment, two rooms. I've got my wardrobe here with my suitcase and some bags up there. Got my little bedside table and of course the bed. Not too much in here yet. Still need to do some decorating. It's, it's very bare right now, but you know, I wanna collect things along my travels. And then here, got this big old window uh, facing out towards the street and the neighborhood. And we'll go out there in a little bit. Yeah, that is pretty much it. Oh, and the bathroom, of course, very important. Cannot forget this. Here is the bathroom laundry machine here. Got a sink. We got the uh, mirror cabinets. And right here is the shower which I love very, very much. Great water pressure. And right here is the toilet. So yeah, pretty much everything I need. By the time I signed this place, I was really, really wanting an apartment. So it was a huge relief to have this because I had been on the road full time, traveling nonstop, living out of a suitcase for like two years at that point, And I was really ready to just have a home base again. Oh, and by the way, I have great neighbors. Look at this. Hi guys, merhaba, merhaba. Oh, there's another one, chilling on the edge. The cats of 
Kadikoi. They're everywhere. One time I woke up and they were in this tree looking at me through my window. Hi guys. Okay, all right, yeah. Okay, so I live here sort of. What the heck does that mean? It means that while I'm renting this apartment and paying 12 months of it, I don't have a Turkish residence permit, which means I'm living here on a tourist visa. Now the tourist visa for Americans is only 90 days out of 180 days that you can be here. So it's like a rolling basis. Anytime you count back 180 days from today, I can only have been in the country for 90 days out of those 180. Now the problem is in Turkey, in order to apply for the residence permit that would allow me to stay here continuously for a year, you have to already be renting an apartment. You have to rent the apartment and then they can reject you and then you can't use the apartment. So yeah, it doesn't make much sense to me and that's exactly what happened to me. I applied. It used to be really easy apparently back in the day to get that residence permit. Basically there are a lot of foreigners here and at some point they decided, okay, enough foreigners, we're gonna start rejecting people and that's what happened to me. To be honest, it's very, very frustrating but I'm making do and luckily I travel a lot anyway so yeah, it's not the end of the world but I'd really like to get the residence permit. Now, I wanna head outside in a second and show you guys around my neighborhood a little bit, but before we do that, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, True Classic. True Classic is a one-stop shop for men's fitted shirts, pants, athletic wear, and lounge wear. And to be honest, guys, these are some of the comfiest shirts I have ever worn. True Classic sells all of their items in a variety of colors, so you can get exactly what you're looking for. I've got a bunch of different colored t-shirts here with me, and I've even got this really nice Henley with the buttons on top. They also sell multi-packs on their website of three, six, or nine items, so you can get a bunch of different colors in one. I've even got these pants here from True Classic, and I honestly cannot believe how soft they are. They really feel like sweatpants, but they have the look of slacks that you could wear to the office. They look really classy, but they are insanely comfortable. And guys, maybe the best part about True Classic is the price. I mean, you get this level of quality, this level of fit for such an incredible price. I honestly almost can't even believe it. When you click the link down in the description below, you're gonna get 25% off the entire True Classic site. Click the link down in the description below. It really helps out the channel and you're gonna get yourself some amazing clothes. I promise you're gonna love them. All right, now let's head outside for a little bit and uh, go see what's going on. All right, guys, so here we are outside. This is my neighborhood here in Kadikoy. I think it's actually technically Moda, which is like a sub neighborhood of Kadikoy. But uh, yeah, I love it here. It's very close to the action, but it's quiet near my apartment, so it's great. I actually have a haircut appointment today, and if you know anything about Turkey, you know that the barbers here in Turkey are world class. So we're gonna go there. Maybe I'll speak a little Turkish on camera. I'm learning every day. And as we're walking through the neighborhood here, I'll give a shout out to two of my favorite spots. This is Mama Bowl. They do like healthy bowls, salads, and falafel and chicken bowls and stuff. So I go there a lot. And then here, it's a place called Everything Bagel. And they do New York style bagel sandwiches, which I very much appreciate. A little taste of home right in my neighborhood. Guys, people here in Istanbul love cats and they leave like little homes and food bowls and water out for them like all over the place. You see this, it's very normal. And sometimes I like to come feed them. Merhaba. You want some? Let's see, do you like it? Come on, don't be picky. See, the cats on this street are very picky because they're so spoiled. There's so many people feeding the cats here. No? Try it there. Okay. There you go. Sometimes I come out here and buy them a little lunch meat. There you go, you want it? There you go, good job. There you go, right up here. So yeah, this is what it's like to live in Istanbul. Especially in Kadikoy, apparently. <laughs> Lots of cats. Okay guys, so here we are. Suat Atay. My favorite barbershop in Kadikoy. Let me know if you guys ever want to see a, uh, a full Turkish barber uh, experience video because I could do that. Suat Atay ama Bülent. Bülent. Usta, Bülent Usta'yı bulacaksınız. Benim arkadaşım Bülent. This is Bülent. Yes. En sevdiğim uh, kuaför. Teşekkürler. <laughs> <laughs> Belki uh, bir video sadece Türkçe kullanıyorum. Çıkacağım, bilmiyorum. <laughs> Çok zor olacak. 
But let me know if you guys want to see that in the comments, and uh, maybe I can try making a video only in Turkish. Okay guys, so while we're here, I'll kind of explain to you why I'm living in Istanbul now. So basically, it just makes a lot of sense for me because of the location where it is in the world. It's very close to the Middle East where I obviously film a lot of videos and I've also been doing a lot of tours there. By the way, if you want to join one of my tours, you can check the link down in the description below. I've got more tours to Iraq coming up and a really awesome trek in the summer of 2024 to Pakistan. It's going to be awesome. But yeah, the location makes a lot of sense for me. The airline flies everywhere and um, I just like the country. I like the people, the food, the language. I'm trying to learn every day I'm taking lessons, so yeah. For those reasons, it made a lot of sense for me to live here and been here since February. Okay. All done, guys. Time to wash. I just love this neighborhood guys you can go down by the water very very close to the water there's a nice marina nearby and just go sit there on the grass it's incredible I love living here Alrighty guys, I've got my fresh cut here. Uh, I think this is pretty much going to be the end of the video. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of kind of the behind the scenes and where I live, what I'm doing when I'm not off traveling and, and, and filming videos in different places. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm probably going to film some more videos in Turkey soon. I want to film more here and I want to speak Turkish and really kind of dive in deeper here. So let me know what you'd like to see from Turkey. Let me know if you enjoyed these kind of videos. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.